Hello, podcast listeners. We know podcasts are a great way to catch up on a program that you may have missed on KSJE, and it's provided as a free service of this radio station. But you know, KSJE is now listener-supported, and so while you enjoy this podcast, we hope that you'll also take some time to join KSJE. You become a member today. It's quite easy to do. Just go to our website at ksje.com support and pick the level of support that best matches your budget. Thanks again for listening. Here's your podcast. Everyone, I'm Scott Micklin. Thanks for tuning in to KSJE 90.9 FM, of course, over the air here in San Juan County, New Mexico. 103.3 FM if you're listening in Durango, Colorado. And if you're listening anywhere else, you're probably streaming us from our website at ksje.com. We're glad that you are with us this morning, everybody. Welcome also to our viewers who are watching this visual radio program. It is streaming live this morning out to the KSJE Facebook page, our YouTube channel, and our Twitter account. We are glad that you are with us this morning because coming up in the next few moments, we're going to be talking about one of my very favorite holiday events, which is happening this week, the PMS Festival of trees throughout downtown Farmington. Stay tuned for details about that great event coming up in the next few minutes right here on KSJE. Later on this hour, we'll talk technology with my guest, Lewis Campbell from Synergy Computer Systems. It's our Monday reboot segment at 8.50 a.m. on KSJE. Next hour, Roving with the Arts, our classical music program with Mick Hess. And Mick this morning is featuring music from Luigi Baccarini and the Baccarini Octet coming up this morning. Also, Leonard Bernstein's music this morning as well. That's at 9.06 on KSJE. Don't forget, you can also connect with us on our Instagram page as well as Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And if you're a podcast person, you can listen to this program by tomorrow morning or a lot of our other programs on our podcast network. You can find and subscribe to KSJE for free on places like iTunes and Spotify and iHeartRadio and Pandora and Amazon Music and much, much more. Go to our website for more details on KSJE's podcast network. Outside our studios this morning, it is sunny on this Monday morning, 30 degrees in Farmington at the moment. We are expecting a mostly sunny day today with a high of 54 degrees, overnight low tonight, 25. Sunshine, 54 again tomorrow. 53 on Wednesday, mid-50s really for the entire week, and maybe a chance of a snow flurry or a rain shower next Monday, but that's the only uh, precipitation we see in the long-range forecast. Overnight lows, clear, and mid-20s for the rest of the week as well. Well, let me introduce my guests who are here with me this morning to talk again about the PMS Festival of Trees. Always great to have you here. Jill Adair is here from Presbyterian Medical Services. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. You bet. Good to have you here. Welcome, and uh, glad that we could talk about the Festival of Trees, yeah. another exciting event, as I as I mentioned. Kristen Santison is also here this morning. Good morning to you, a member of the committee. Good morning. Good to have you here as well. Thank you for coming in. Yes, thanks for allowing us to be here. You bet. It's great that you're both here. And uh, as I mentioned, the Festival of Trees, it's back again this year. This year. We're so excited. We are so excited that we were able to partner again with the City of Farmington and our downtown businesses to get us back again. Very good. And so it will be downtown again like it was last year. It will be. It will be. There will be a little bit of difference this year that we're able to bring back just a few of those events that everybody loves. Right. Um, so we were able to do that. But, yes, we are partnering again with those businesses downtown. Very good. And I want to disclose fully that I'm a member of the Board of Directors of yes. Presbyterian Medical Services, and I need to disclose, too, KSJE will have the beacon tree in the Festival of oh, Trees so this year. Yes. So I just want everyone to know that. Yeah. And I believe we're at Boone's. Oh, nice. So we've got a nice spot, and yeah. we're looking forward to that. So anyway, yes. but yeah, but there are a lot of businesses that are helping out, right? And there they'll are. have a lot of trees and a lot of windows yes. downtown, yeah. which absolutely. is how it works. Yes, absolutely. And so, you know, as you know, last year was, was something new for us to uh, – to, to figure out and what can we do we wanted to keep our tradition going and um, of course we, we weren't able last year at all to do that at the Civic Center and and so this year um, with things still on the rise a little bit again 
Uh, we just felt that that was the best thing to do was to continue um, with it being downtown, allowing people to walk up and down, you know, Main Street, have an opportunity to go into those businesses, um, as well as, you know, look on our website. We have a new website, and so it's able to kind of get on um, that and, and to be able to purchase tickets and uh, kind of participate in that fashion if they're unable to actually walk downtown. Right, and that's a good point because this is still a fundraiser it for fundraiser. Presbyterian Medical Services yeah. and all of the programs that it provides right here in San Juan County. This yes. money stays right here locally, which I know folks is really important to a lot of folks. Yes, absolutely. It stays local. Um, it Actually, we have uh, have already earmarked, you know, some of the, the money coming in to some of our straight programs and you know, we're really, you know, excited and happy for that because this is our one big fundraiser for San Juan County. Right. Very true. Well, let's take a look at the uh, the schedule okay. and uh, start talking about uh, right. things that are happening this week. And I know um, officially things get started on Thursday, but I know the trees will be available to be viewed earlier than that. Yes. At so least I know are... i got to get my tree ready before <laughs> the Thursday. <laughs> Correct. Correct. So actually we're starting to do a setup today yeah yeah so, I, yeah, oh, yeah well i should be down there yeah <laughs> <laughs> so today and tomorrow um starting to get all that set up and done we will actually do a true kickoff on thursday so we are partnering with the city of farmington for the tree lighting ceremony and that'll be at five o'clock um down at the uh, civic center that's in front of the civic center yep, right that big giant center, tree that beautiful big tree and so um that's really our, our big kickoff with them and then we'll have our beautiful christmas parade um, that will be happening at 5.30. On Thursday, On right. Thursday. Mm -hmm. So that's really the big, true kickoff, and tickets will be available to purchase on Thursday, December 2nd. Okay, beginning Thursday, not before then. Not before then. And, okay. and the tickets I'm referring to are for the trees, for the yes. raffle tickets for the trees. Okay. So um, for these other events, they can actually purchase the tickets now. Right. And we'll talk about those, those yes. special events those that special are back events. this year, which we're excited about. So yeah. very, very true. Yeah. Um, I know there's a big event on Friday morning at uh, the Focus on Farmington Coffee is kind of uh, partnering again with PMS as well. They, they are. They are. So this is going to be a little bit different. Um, you know, usually we, we again would have this event at the Civic Center and, and you know, we would have a big meal and those types of things. And so this year... Um, again, due to COVID, we are doing things a little bit different, and so we have partnered with the Chamber, and, and we're doing Focus on Farmington, and that will be down at Artifacts. So from 8 to 10, uh, there will be free coffee, and then there will be mugs and some other goodies and, and things that can be purchased um, that, again, those proceeds will go to PMS. Very good. And uh, this is an event that the um, this Focus on Farmington group does monthly yes. throughout the community. So this month it's part of the Festival of Trees. Yes, it so is. So very, very good. Yeah. That is happening Friday on the 3rd, 8 to 10 at Artifacts. And so uh, let's talk about some of the other things that are coming up as well. And I'll show the schedule once again for our video audience and for radio listeners. Um, again, on uh, Thursday, December 9th, there is another big event, right? That's next week. Yes, so next week, so one of these events, this event is, has really been, I think, one of Festival of Trees' favorite events for the community, and it is the Teddy Bear Story Time. Yes. Yes. So we are able to bring that back, and with that, we will have uh, two of the, of the sessions that are being offered. And that is being sponsored by uh, Robert and Jan Hubert, mm -hmm. um, as well as Marion Oil is uh, our actual our main presenter, uh, presenting sponsor uh, for the, for all the Festival of Trees. But for this event, it's back at five dollars a person, um, and it will be down uh, downtown at Inspired Moments. So that's a new location for us. Um, they're at three ten West Main, and there again we have tickets available they do need to go on to PMS festival of trees dot com and dot org not, not for the festival of trees oh so not for this one I think it's PMS festival of trees dot com I'm looking at the poster it says dot org oh no I'm I just think checking. we need to check that uh, oh That's okay a good catch let's see which which website works we'll figure yeah, that out we're while gonna, we're talking we're about it we're gonna figure that out everyone's pulling out their phones yeah right <laughs> okay. let's see let's see but anyway so but you need to buy your tickets online is the point is the point point. and we, these sell out 
These, these tickets, story times yeah, sell out. I they know. They usually do. And that's then we why you have, have multiple story times to yes, choose from. To choose from. And so usually that's where people get a little bit... Um, a little bit upset whenever they don't have uh, the, that availability. So right now we have tickets um, that we're doing one from 9 to 10 and from 10.30 to 11.30. Okay, very good. I'm getting there with .com. Okay, good. I just want everyone to know PMSFestivalOfTrees.com works. Okay, and so I know um, our website is uh, PMS.org, but... For, for actual Presbyterian Medical Services. So that's good. I'm glad right. that you got there with .com. Right. But I don't believe the PMS Festival of Trees .org is getting is, me there. Okay. So. All right. Dot .com. So it's dot .com, everybody. Dot .com, everyone. PMS Festival of Trees. Keep trying. Dot .com. We'll break the internet. We're going to break the internet. Everybody try and go that's on right. and buy your tickets. That's, buy tickets that's right now. Buy tickets. But this is a great event for... Um, I, what age group would you say for the kids? That's really for you the know, younger really, kids a lot, it's but really I know for the younger kids. Yeah. I would say, you know, what do you think, Kristen? A good age is three to to probably seven, maybe. Right. Yeah. yeah. Nice, but it does sell out. So they I just do want sell folks out. to. So, and this is a week from Thursday, so I would say buy your tickets sooner than later. Yes. Um, to ensure that you get a spot. Yes, absolutely. At the Teddy Bear Story Time, and there are several. Um, at least two, right? Two There's sessions. Two, two sessions, on, and on it will ninth. be at, at the Inspired Moments. Mm -hmm. That is there at 310 West Main is the location. Okay. So uh, Very good. please get online and buy tickets. There, there you go. Very good. My guest this morning from Presbyterian Medical Services, we are talking about the PMS Festival of Trees, which begins in earnest this Thursday and will run um, this week and then most of all of next week, all as a matter week. of fact, right? And so there's another big event next week as well. Yes. And so let's talk a little bit about that one. All right. So our next big event is what we're calling our family night event. So that will also be just a little bit different than what we've had before um, as well due to COVID. So I am going to let Miss Kristen talk a little bit about that. And so this is a really fun uh little neat event I think that we've kind of gotten a little bit creative with so I'm gonna let her talk about that very good that great and so you've got all th kinds of things planned right for family night this is on Saturday the 11th Saturday the 11th from 5 to 8 p.m. Um, there's tickets to purchase for a horse-drawn sleigh ride that will take you through the downtown area where you can see the trees and the Christmas lights um, there will be carolers from 5.30 to 6.15 as well, I okay. think, as um, out there. Um, so for the sleigh ride, you'll meet at the Civic Center. Okay. Um, after that, um, there will be a scavenger hunt where you'll be looking for uh, Santa's reindeer. They will be hiding in the downtown shops. Uh -huh. um, and so the kids can go looking at the trees and also trying to hunt for Santa's reindeer. And then I believe Santa's going to be hanging out at um, the Artifacts Gallery. So if the kids want to stop by and have a visit with Santa. You will sign up for your visit with Santa, so okay. it's kind of like a wait list system. Right. So you can sign up and then go do drink hot chocolate and have some snacks, or you can go on um, your little scavenger hunt, and then we'll let you know when Santa's ready for your visit. Gotcha. Very good. Mm -hmm. And again, um, since we figured out the website, all this we can do at <laughs> pmsfestivalatrees.com yeah, yeah. and buy the tickets and get signed up for Santa and all those things we're talking about, right? Right. So go to the website, buy your tickets for your horse-drawn sleigh ride meet at the White Pergolas at the Civic Center for everything else that will happen at Artifacts. Right. And it's, a, it's not, a, not a bad walk to go back and forth between oh, the two, yeah. so it's a great <laughs> idea. And, uh, and you can check out the trees. Yes. In, yeah. in some of the windows as you tickets and yeah <laughs> exactly there you go very good and so uh, that's got a lot of things going on on saturday the 11th and then of course on sunday the 12th is the big finale our big finale right? so it will be uh, we'll be doing our drawing um and again everything is is done this year um electronically through that website and so we'll be doing um, our live drawing on the 12th at five o'clock okay and that's when folks find out. Then that's when they get to find out. If they've they won, won their tree or yes. whatever, right? Right. And right. all the prizes and all. all the presents and all the other things that are part of that tree. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So for those that aren't aware, just to know that when you see the tree, everything that is underneath that tree, you get. So you get the full, you get to literally come pick up a tree and take it home 
and set it in your living room. Instant Christmas. Instant Christmas. <laughs> right? Yes. It's already done. It's yeah. already done. You will have, you know, all the, and you get all the goodies underneath it, you know, that you can either re-gift or keep for yourself. Yeah. You know, whatever will work for you. And so, I mean, and it's awesome. And I know we do have a couple of uh, trees that are out there that'll be our money trees. So uh, something to also think about. We have quite a few um, very generous uh, donors, you know, that are that are throughout um, San Juan County that like to put out some money trees. Right. You know, and I, I do want to again thank our presenting sponsor, which is Marion Oil and Gas. We really would not be able to pull this off again without their continued support. They have been a sponsor and a supporter of Presbyterian Medical Services for a long time for quite a while i can't quite even think of how many years it's yeah. it's been but mm -hmm. um i think even yeah. when it was a part of another organization's fundraising they were a sponsor possibly i'm but, not i'm not quite sure i'm not quite sure i know we've been doing this for like 19 years now for festival trees it's just that's crazy not possible but okay PMS. you say so jill all right i know it right <laughs> <laughs> very exciting, but very cool. And so uh, folks may remember going to the Civic Center with their tickets and dropping them in the buckets and things like that. Now this year, um, and last year too, is it the same thing or is there, or is, can we do it online or walk me through that process too sure. a little bit? So that's what's a little bit different. Um, you know, with COVID, lots of things change, right? And we, we had to kind of get creative and how can we move forward? What can we do? So uh, that's where we've, we've come up with our website of the PMSFestivalOfTrees.com. .com. And so with that, you will have the opportunity to see all of the trees, uh, their location, the business sponsor, and then um, you can actually put your money in at that time off of, off of your debit card or a credit card. And it's kind of like online shopping. Right. And you just kind of go in and say, oh, I want to put some tickets into this one. Oh, I want to put some tickets into that one. So, um, you know, it, we don't have the opportunity right now to go and walk in and say, oh, let me, let me handwrite it and bend it and have our little right. tricks because, you know, we have our little tricks sometimes on what we need to do to put on those cards to put them into the bucket to win. True. So, um, no, we won't have that, okay. unfortunately. But that means you don't have the hand cramps either of yes. filling out Very a true. million tickets Very with your true. name and phone number every year. So Very there's true. that. There's so that. it's there's pluses that. and minuses. Yeah. You know, Very true. What, what can Very I say? True. But that's great. But the other point is that you know folks can still go down down and see the trees and make notes of what they like and see yeah. the gifts under the trees mm -hmm. and of course they're mm -hmm. all described on the website too yes. Yes. and so I think it's great for folks who maybe don't want to come downtown or live outside of the area but right. still want to support PMS that mm -hmm. they can do this they don't have to live in Farmington necessarily That's very true. correct they'll still have to get someone to pick up their tree I guess if that they win true. that is true but um, true. but they could still support PMS and still, and still buy the tickets and, yeah, and things absolutely. along that line they just need to make sure that they answer your phone when you don't recognize the phone number calling you um, on Sunday on Sunday so that's a little bit of a different day too right so in the past it used to always be by noon on a Saturday that's right so now it's going to be on Sunday at 5 o'clock on the 12th okay and so those phone calls are usually happening during the drawings if I remember mm -hmm. correctly mm -hmm. and so I assume that's gonna still be the case that's right you'll be case. making those because you got volunteers that yeah. just start calling as soon as those names are drawn Draw. mm -hmm. And so, yeah. and then it's up to the individual to pick up their trees on yes. Monday or uh, Sunday. Uh -huh. It'll be on Monday. On Monday. And so they will actually, we will connect them with the business sponsor, which will be great. And then together they decide when's the best time to come and pick up the tree. Got you. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very exciting. And Kristen, I want to turn back to you a little bit because you're a volunteer on this committee, right? And so you've been helping to, to put all this together and, and tell me a bit about your involvement with the Festival of Trees. What got you involved? Um, well, I started out as a sponsor um, three, gosh, I think it was three or four years ago. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, and have continued sponsoring will be Fundamentals will be sponsoring Family Night. Um, we're an early childhood center in Farmington. Um, but really, I just believe in the mission of PMS, and they have been um, an amazing support for us in the private sector of early childhood programs to really support the needs we have for children. And so any opportunity I had to help them out has just been um, really very rewarding for me, actually. So. Nice. Mm -hmm. Well, and as a business sponsor as well, you, you see the, the, the value of doing that, plus helping out as a volunteer on the committee, too. Mm -hmm. So. That's wonderful to hear. And, and Jill, I bet you hear that a lot from your sponsors. I know there's a lot of them, like Kristen, who is a sponsor mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of this event. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And, and that was one thing I know with Marion Oil and Gas is, 
you know, um, they they really have been a huge part and, and a huge play, you know, in in the community involvement and. You know, it's it's just been really rewarding, I know, for them to see what we do. And, and every year we come and we always talk about where the proceeds go and, and all of our programs. And it's just so um, uplifting to kind of see the people that when we talk about everything, then they're like, oh, my goodness, I didn't know you guys did that. You know, so it's kind of neat in that fashion. Right, indeed. Remind us, if you can, off, off the top of your head, of the different programs that do benefit from the Festival of Trees. And as a board member, I should know them, too, off the top of my head. But... <laughs> It's early on a Monday, so that's the top of my okay. head is still in bed, I think. Yeah, but, that's but, yeah. okay. That's okay. So we have our Roundtree Children's Developmental Services Program, which is our early intervention program uh, who works with children birth to three with disabilities um, or who could be at risk for disability. Uh, we also have our SHIELD program, which is the Adults with Disabilities uh, program. Then we have our TOTA Behavioral Health, and they work a lot with the inebriate population, the homeless population. Um, we have our um, Children's Services, which is the program that I've been over for the past few years, which um, has our Head Start, Early Head Start, Pre-K and Home Visiting. And then we have our Farmington Community Health Center, and there we do medical um, care and dental and behavioral health. Right. Yeah. A one-stop shop. A one-stop shop. I, I know from my service on the board. And I and all these services that you mentioned are really strive to be affordable, if not free, for these individuals, these families that yes. take advantage of them. And that's really part of, again, the mission, I think, of Presbyterian Medical Services mm -hmm. is to provide these important things in these communities. And PMS is throughout New Mexico. But, again, these these funds raised from Festival of Trees stay here in San Juan County and support the programs you just mentioned. They do. They absolutely do. And so, you know, often the money that comes in really has helped, let's say for Roundtree, um, you know, of finding certain type of, of assistive devices that maybe Medicaid doesn't pay for. Because again, with, with Roundtree, you don't have to be on Medicaid. Um, you know, you can, it, there's no constraints of, of any financial constraints coming in and so sometimes those insurances won't cover some of those adaptive devices so that is something you know where that money goes um, for that and then for shield you know um, often it's it's really put to use um, again for some of the adaptive devices but really more for those gatherings and those things to help get those individuals out to the community and to do some things to kind of help you know healthy living in that fashion and, and for TOTA you know as well to help uh, often you know some certain clothing and food and those things that are needed for that population right very important yes. and so great to great to be a supporter of yes. that and that's what yes. you're doing with the festival of trees and um, before we run out of time um, you still have some spots in your head start and early head start programs we as do. well right we do we do so um, always taking applications and so uh, for our, if you have any children that are ages six weeks to five, we currently have openings um, out at Bloomfield uh, for pretty much for, I would say, that early Head Start age range, which would be from six weeks to about 18 months. Um, we also have openings in Aztec for early Head Start, and that would be from 18 to 24 months. We um, are also above the NAPI at our Little Feet site, and there we have um, from six weeks to three years of age some openings, and then as well for you know our Head Start, our ages three to five, so they're Fair. throughout all of the. Very good. And folks can call and, and get signed up or get the application and yeah. get started on get that started process, up. right? Yes. Um, they can go to our new website um, as well at pms.org. Um, and so there, that's where they can pull off that application. They can also stop at 900 South Carlton and go in and pick up an application. Or an, at uh, 805 at Maddox, that's there in Aztec, if they would like to do that as well. Um, and I know, same thing for Roundtree. You know, if you have any concerns for your child that is, you know, ages, um, again, birth up to three, and if you have any concerns developmentally, please make sure to give them a call. Um, as well at 327-7720 and they can you know get out and, and provide some extra support and I also just want to make sure that everybody knows you know our Farmington Community Health Center we um, definitely are doing vaccines so if you you know are wanting to get the vaccine um, you can 
come down. I'm going to have to look at my little cheat sheet here. That's but okay. You can come and down. Um, so I know you talk about, yes. we talk about all types of vaccines, but yes. you're specifically talking about COVID vaccines. Talking about COVID vaccines. Yes. Thank you. And yeah. any vaccines, right. actually. If there's mm. any vaccines that you need for yourself or your children, absolutely come sure. to our clinic. Um, but also for Pfizer um, is one of them that we're doing on Wednesdays. Um, and that's for ages 12 and up. And then, um, again, Brand new that's that's out there now is uh, for Pfizer for children, ages five to eleven. So that uh, big event happens on Thursday. So this is every Thursday from three thirty to four thirty. Now for both of those um, types of vaccine events, you do have to register, and you would register at www.cvvaccine.nmhealth.org. You can also call 327-4796 to register. Very good. And, um, and really great that PMS and the Health Center is another outlet mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. vaccines to get them out into yes, the community. So absolutely. I think that, that's really important. So, yeah, it is. And you'll be doing that for the foreseeable future is I, the plan, I, isn't it? I have a feeling this will, this will be for quite a while. Right. We'll still be moving so on. So when you say Wednesdays and Thursdays, that's... That's that's our set date. So it's not just for this week. Right. That is our set every Wednesday and Thursday that they'll be doing that from that time frame. Got you. Very yeah. good. Well, again, yeah. something to think about and for folks to be uh, prepared for and uh, and things like that. We want to see our vaccination rates get a little higher, everybody, because we do have a surge of cases mm -hmm. in San Juan County. We're talking about that. We've been talking about the stress on the hospital and our healthcare workers and, and things like that. And so we want to try to reduce that as much as we can. Yeah. So this is one way to do it. Yep. Absolutely. By getting out and getting vaccinated. So yeah. very good. Let's recap, though, the Festival okay. of Trees. Again, yes. um, the big events that begin Thursday. It will begin um, Thursday. This week, mm -hmm. tree lighting out in front of the Civic Center yes. with the City of Farmington, the Christmas Parade at 530. Yes. And then, of course, uh, folks can start buying tickets mm -hmm. on that Thursday. Yes. The tree should be available to be viewed on uh, by Tuesday, Wednesday, right? Well, I would say definitely by Wednesday we should have everything up. Okay. You know, again, it's... It is a little bit different than what we've done in the past because we are partnering with those downtown businesses. So we are really allowing those business owners and those tree sponsors to kind of work together. Gotcha. So yeah. there you go. But yeah. things will be definitely yeah. ready to go by Thursday. By Thursday, for sure. And then we have our coffee break that will be at Artifacts. We're right. We're really looking forward to that. Uh, partnering with Focus on Farmington. That's Friday, December 3rd from 8 to 10. Yes, at Artifacts. Okay. And then Thursday we will have um, a little bit different version of our family night, and that will be on the 9th. Um, nope, I said that wrong. On Thursday the 9th we will have our teddy bear story time. Right. And so that we are really excited about. We are partnering with Inspired Moments. That's a new location at 310 West Main. That will be have those uh, two two showings and we have tickets available so please 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 get online buy those tickets so that you don't miss out then, five dollars a person i just want yes. to mention right yep. so that's that's all it is pmsfestivalofthetrees.com yes to buy your, to ticket. Buy your tickets and there yes. you go and then of course family night will be um coming up on um saturday, saturday the, 11th. the 11th and so that will be what's a little bit different we'll have our santa and sleigh ride um, and they will actually meet at uh, the Civic Center if you purchase those tickets. So Santa is free, of course, and, and doing, you know, coming in and having some hot cocoa, you know, you'll have to purchase some of those things. But uh, the sleigh ride is, what, $5, Kristen? Is yeah. that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay. $5 for the sleigh ride. Um, and with that, you get some of those little extra things to do. Um, which Kristen had, had spoke previously about. Right. Um, so Scavenger kind of, hunt. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And Scavenger all that. Hunt. And the yeah. horses. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. Yeah, right. I'm, just, I'm so excited for that one. It's going to be really, really magical, I think. Um, definitely get on, get your tickets for that. There's certain time slots for that, and I know those tickets are selling fast. Right. For sure. And then we'll have, um, we finish up on Sunday the 12th with our live drawing. That's right. And that's at 5 o'clock. At 5 o'clock on Sunday okay. the 12th. And so, again, you don't have to be watching to win, but you do have to answer your phone yes. if you win. Yes. That's answer the important the phone. part. Answer the phone. Very so, important. There, there you go. Wonderful. Yep. Well, thank you for coming in this morning. Kristen, thank you for being here as well and all your work on this family night event, which sounds like a great uh, addition to the Festival of Trees. So thank you very much. Well, thank you for having us. You're, yeah. very, you're very welcome. Jill, always a pleasure to have you here. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I know it's a, you, you both represent a team of volunteers who work on this event throughout the year. So. 
Yeah. Extend our thanks to them as well. Will do. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming in, everybody. My guest talking about the PMS Festival of Trees this morning here on KSJE. The 2021 Festival of Trees Downtown Experience presented by Marion Oil and Gas is an event benefiting Presbyterian Medical Services, which kicks off on December 2nd with a Christmas parade and tree lighting ceremony starting at 5. Then December 4th, Focus on Farmington Coffee begins at 8 a.m. December 9th is the Teddy Bear Story Time. Family Night with Santa and Sleigh Rides on December 11th. Lastly, the live virtual drawing on December 12th. For more information, go to PMS Festival of Trees or check Facebook. Did you enjoy that podcast? We hope that you did. And if you did, share it with your friends. And if you really want to keep podcasts like this coming, please support KSJE. You can do it easily online at ksje.com.